now this town is unique for two reasons. One, there's no Starbucks, and two, everyone who lives here is an elf.
Matthew passed away soon after he was born. That baby was put in an orphanage, and one Christmas night, he crawled into my toy sack, and I brought him back here with me by mistake. The elves took him and raised him as their own. Really? Where is he? I is it Charlie? Buddy, it's you. It's your story. So, so, I'm, I'm not an elf. I'm, I'm a human. Yes. And I'm an orphan. Just like Annie. Not exactly. You have a human father, but he doesn't know that you were born. And he lives in a faraway land called New York City and works right there in the Empire State Building. Keep it. It's a gift from me. Thank you, Santa. What's my dad like? Well, he's an executive. He publishes children's books. Oh. But I should tell you, he, uh, well, he's on the naughty list. <gasps> no, 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 no. What did he do? Did he wreck the bed? <laughs> no, he just doesn't believe me anymore. He's lost the Christmas spirit. But Christmas spirit is what makes your sleigh fly. I know, buddy. It's time you went there to meet him. Okay. Which way is New York City? <sighs> it's south. We're at the North Pole, buddy. Everything is south. <laughs> oh, what's my dad's name? Hobbs. Walter Hobbs. Hobbs. Then, then I must be... Buddy Hobbs. Yay. <laughs> a dad who's a million miles away. When he meets me, who knows what he'll see. But deep down I know I shouldn't be afraid. Cause he's bound to be a lot like me. And we'll make Angels in the snow Till the snow begins to blow Then we'll run inside and start a tickle fight <laughs> And if it's too cold to sled We'll eat gingerbread instead And then cuddle till he tucks me in at night And we'll have our pictures taken For the Christmas cards we're making Him and me in suits of matching plaid when people see us walking, they'll be Google hiding gawking at Buddy and the world's greatest dad. Goodbye, wait! Without them, the end of the book makes no sense. 
Deb. Yes, Mr. Hobbs? Coffee, now. Right away. Hi, darling. Hi, Dad. Ready to go? Go where? Christmas shopping, remember? I can't. I'm swamped. Dad, it is well documented that the children of workaholics are prone to self-esteem issues. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm here to see you, Walter Hobbs. I'm Buddy the Elf. Buddy the Elf? What a riot has sent you! Santa. Santa? Uh-huh. From the North Pole. Oh! Well, I'm sure Mr. Hobbs would be delighted to meet you, but he's in a meeting right now. Would you mind waiting a few minutes? Sure. Can I get you anything? A coffee? Chocolate milk would be fantastic! You're making it sound like it's my fault. Today is impossible, isn't it, Deb? Oh, yes, Mr. Hobbs. Deb! Who are you? Looks like someone sent you a Christmas grand, Mr. Hobbs. <laughs> All right, let's get this over with. Meet Buddy the Elf! <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you gonna sing or something, or can I get back to work? Uh, a song? Oh yeah, anything for you, Dad. Um, I'm here with my dad, and we never met. And she didn't know I was born. But I'm here now. I found you, Daddy. And guess what? I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> well, that was weird. <laughs> Usually, guys put my name in jingle bells or something. It's me, your son, Susan Wells, honey. But she didn't tell you. But now I'm here. Susan Wells, cost security. Susan Wells. Isn't that the girl you went with in college? Susan passed away years ago. Deb, who sent this Christmas gram? I don't know, Mrs. Hobbs. He came without a gift card. Mrs. Hobbs? Are you married to my dad? I'm married to Mr. Hobbs. Then you must be my stepmommy. Would you like a hug? No. <laughs> Wait, he's my brother? <laughs> Listen, buddy. Some nice men are going to take you away from here, okay? Why don't I stay here with you, Dad? Ow! Oh, you pulled my hair! Oops, I did. Sorry. Got a problem here, Mr. Hobbs. Yes, get this elf out of here. Will do, sir. Let's go, buddy. That's me! Where do you want me to take him? I don't know. The North Pole. Sure thing, the North Pole. Oh, there's one at Macy's. I just came from the North Pole. I walked 3,480 miles. I took the Lincoln Tunnel, but I didn't take the George Washington Bridge. It's a mile shorter! Let me just grab my things and we can be on our way. Welcome to Macy's. How are you doing today? Great! I just met my human dad! Well, that's fabulous. Don't go past me, fruit spray? Fruit spray? Sure. Hey, you! Get back to work! Shut on your brain! What section did I sign you to? I don't know. All right, you work right over there in the North Pole. That's not the North Pole. Um, yes it is. No, it's not. Yes it is. No, it's not. Yes it is. No, it isn't. Yes it is. No, it's not. We're snow. <laughs> Why are you smiling like that? I just like smiling. Smiling is my favorite. Make work your favorite. That's your favorite. Work is your new Favorite! Yay! I love to work! Good. Nothing makes the big guy happier than see all those people working so hard. Wait a minute. The big guy from up north? That's the one. Corporate. Always checking up on me. Okay. Fine. We'll work together. You and me. Okay? Okay. Attention! Everybody! Santa will be arriving in 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, Santa will be coming to town. Santa! Oh my gosh, Santa here! I know him! I know him! Um, okay. Why don't you go help that girl decorate that tree over there? Okay. Wow. She's beautiful. Yeah, we tried talking to her. She's nuts. She is? I love nuts! <laughs> Hi! I'm Buddy the Elf, and we're gonna have fun together! Hi, I'm Jovi the Elf, and I seriously doubt that. <laughs> You're very pretty, like a glittery angel. Classy. You know, I'm not a very big Christmas person, so if you could dial down on the elf speak. 
That'd be great. Uh-oh, sounds like someone needs to sing a Christmas carol. <laughs> Don't you know the best way to spread Christmas cheer is by singing loud for all to hear? Thanks. But I don't sing. Oh, come on, it's fun! Um, I'm singing, I'm in a store and I'm singing! <laughs> All right, listen up, everybody. We have to finish decorating this place because Sandy will be here soon. No more Sandy around, get to work! What? Oh. No, 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 this isn't the right way to decorate for Christmas. You gotta get into the spirit! I can't do this anymore. I feel like you can do it all of us together. I just want to saying we have a board that helps us put our best foot forward. If you want to deck the halls for Mr. C, make sure there's sparkle, jolly, twinkle, jingly. It's gloomy and its atmosphere has called it quits. Then you must remember that December is a time for glitz. Never stop until you slam on your Christmas tree. Is sparkle jolly, twinkle jingly. Pick up every ornament that's sitting waiting on a shelf. While you're busy decorating, why not decorate yourself? Soon you'll bring a smile to every person you see. I'm Sparkle, Twinkle, Jolly, what? Close enough! And if you're at a loss, remember the phrase that says to thine own elf be true. To thine own elf be true. Or when it comes to Christmas displays, look inside and you'll know what to do. You'll know there's a lot to do. Put some cheery bowls on all on every wall and every nook. Take the lock of each corner till it's Christmas everywhere you look. Give the world a holiday that's bright as can be. Make it sparkle, jolly, twinkle, jingly. Who the 
heck are you? What are you talking about? I'm Santa Claus. Ho, 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 ho. No, you're not. Of course I am. Ho, 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 ho. Well, if you're Santa, what song did I sing for you on your birthday this year? Happy birthday, of course. Uh, so, what's your name? Paula. How old are you? Six. What can I get you for Christmas? Hey, don't tell him what you want for Christmas. He's a liar. Let the kid talk. I want Grand Theft Auto Chinatown words. <laughs> you disgust me. How can you live with yourself? Just cool it, Zippy. You sit on the throne of lies. Look, I'm not kidding. You stink. You smell like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa. How do you like to be dead, huh? You're a fake. I'm a fake. <laughs> Look! Santa's a fake! 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 You can't get me! You can't get me! Ah! Buddy the Elf? Hey, I do! Buddy Hobbs! Do you know my dad, Walter Hobbs? No, but we'll look at him while you're in a cell. Cooling your heels. Thanks. My heels are incredibly sweaty. How'd you know? <laughs> I can't figure this out! Dad said he'd help me, but he's not around. Again? Michael, don't talk like that. Your father, he's a caring man. Hi, Mom, I'm home! Excuse me? It's Walter Hobbs, isn't it? Yes, good, oh let's go. No, no, take him with you. you no. Okay, wait, wait, wait a lady, you have a heart. It's almost Christmas, and he's homeless. Well, he can't just come in here like this. He's All right, buddy, state. we gotta go. Oh, goodbye, Daphne. <laughs> oh, bye. Thanks a whole lot. Oh, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Wow, is this a mod of a wind turbine machine? You know what it is. Uh, I built a few of Santa's workshop. So you know Santa pretty well, do you? Santa's like my best friend. You still believe in all that flying reindeer stuff? <sighs> no, of course not. Santa hasn't used reindeer for years and years. Now his sleigh's run on Christmas spirit alone. Which is a problem because of people like you. I mean, look at this place. No tinsel, no tree. Have you even written a letter to Santa Claus yet? Buddy, I'm sorry, but I'm far too old to write a letter to Santa. Me too. Way too old. Anyhow, I'm gonna flunk if I can't get this stupid science project working. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you get into the Christmas spirit right now and write a letter to Santa Claus, I'll fix your wig machine. Okay, it's a deal. Okay, so how do we do this? You're asking your 12-year-old son how to write a letter to Santa Claus. Well, what do you want for Christmas? I don't know. I know what I don't want for Christmas. I don't want a check that's made out to cash or a corporate re-gift from some secret stash. I'd like a dinner with my dad.
What in the devil is going on here? Hi, Dad! Look, Buddy fixed my wind machine. He's staying with us. Staying with us? Emily, what do you mean? He's staying with us? Uh, Walter, I've been um, very busy the last couple of days. You see, I took a strand of Buddy's hair and a few strands of your hair from the sink, and I had my cousin at Beth Israel Hospital compare the two, and... And? You have an elf for a son! I can't I can't believe it! Dad, I have a whole first day planned out. Just you and me, and we're going to the hospital. Tomorrow, we're gonna Tomorrow I have to work. Tomorrow, your father will take you to work with him. <laughs> All right. Yes. But if you're coming with me, you gotta lose that costume. We'll stop at Brooks Brothers on the way and get you a suit. A suit? Can you wear like Santa's? No. <laughs> Sarah? Good morning, Sarah. That's a very nice purple outfit. Very purpley. Buddy! Congratulations! I hear it turns out you really are Mr. Hobbs' son! Hi, Deb, and yes I am! Oh, Deb, your face is so pretty. It should be on a Christmas card. Oh, stop it! I hardly recognized you! That's because I'm wearing you and more clothes. Isn't it exciting? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Mr. Hobbs, Mr. Greenway got it from Chicago an hour ago and should be here any minute. Great. Sit down there. I have a lot of work to do. Okay. Sun and ultraviolet. I don't know. Ago. Susan was fun, full of life. You would have liked her. Oversight, Mr. Greenway. Hobbs, you're out of a job unless you come up with a blockbuster idea for a Christmas book. And I mean a through-the-roof national bestseller. That's easier said than done. Yes, it is. So you better get your top writers on it, because I will be back in New York on the evening of December 24th. You will present to me at that time, in exact detail, your plans for the book. Happy holidays, Hobbs. 
exact details for a brand new book to see if any idea how hard it is to... No! 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 How'd you like your dinner? Greasy Slovakia on a stick is not dinner. But it's the world's best Slovakia. Look, why don't we just call it a night? No, 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 we can't do that. We have so much stuff to do, I can't take you home. Hey, did I tell you? You look miraculous. <laughs> miraculous, huh? Well, you look pretty miraculous yourself. That elf costume made you look incredibly dorky. Thanks! That wasn't a compliment. Oh, I know. Let's do something Christmassy. Let's go ice skating. Oh, I'm not a very good skater. That's okay. Neither am I. Santa says I'm a hazard. Who calls me Edward Scissorfeet? Cool. Look, stop. Let's make a pact. If you try to be less perky, I'll try to be less grumpy. Okay. I'd like you to be less grumpy. I came to Rockefeller Center last year, too. My first Christmas in New York. Wow. Where'd you come from? L.A. Christmas is there. It's so real. No snow. No. no. No, no snow? No, I've never even seen snow. I've always wanted to. That is the saddest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, I've lived here for almost two years and it hasn't even snowed once. You know, when I was a kid, I always dreamed of having a snowy Christmas Eve dinner at Tavern on the Green with Billy Crystal. <laughs> oh, that sounds so stupid. No, it doesn't. Who's Billy Crystal? He sounds magical. He's an actor. Joby, we're gonna have dinner on the Tavern the Green. Oh, I don't think so. For one thing, it's been closed for months, and it just reopened, so now it's even harder to get in. My dad can get us a table. He can do anything. Buddy, don't promise things you can't deliver. Joby, I promise. I'm gonna make your Christmas dream come true. Wow, I might actually have a real Christmas. <gasps> See, you do have Christmas spirit. I guess I do. A little. Now, you just have to spread it. And remember, the best way to spread Christmas cheer is by singing loud for all to hear. I told you, I don't sing for anyone at any time, including birthdays, bar mitzvahs, and especially Christmas. Come on, Jovi, singing can be easy. Please stop. It's fun, it's free, and best of all, it's Totally, Tracy. All you have to do is move your voice much higher, higher, higher. Oh, it's just like time for us to to make it time for us to. No. <laughs> just sing. Christmas song. It's like magic if things go wrong. Just spread some Christmas cheer by singing well for all to hear. People are stirring. That's the point. Just sing a Christmas song and keep on singing all season long. Think of the joy of Yeah.
All right, give me what you got. Okay, so how about this? A town populated only by tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> little tomato people busily pay for Christmas. But little do they know that the mean tomato who lives on top of the mountain is planning to steal Christmas this year. You're describing the Grinch. But with tomatoes. <laughs> Greenway's on his way. And if we don't come up with something good, we're all fired. I got it. I got it. I got it. You are familiar, of course, with Christopher Smith. Are you kidding? Christopher Smith was the greatest Christmas story writer who ever lived. Mr. Hobbs, I met this guy who recently acquired a desk once owned by a one Christopher Smith. And in a secret drawer, he finds a manuscript. Oh my gosh. <gasps> a lost Chris Smith Christmas story? A lost Chris Smith Christmas story. Be careful. It's the only copy. Dad, I'm in love, I'm in love, and I don't care who knows it. <laughs> Buddy, please, we're very busy. Dad, I need a table for two, the time on the green, seven o'clock, Christmas Eve, and four hundred dollars. The guy's waiting in the lobby, Mr. Hobbs. <laughs> Buddy, please, we'll talk about this in a minute. Just do me a favor and sit there in that chair. Amuse yourself. Oh, okay, Dad. Great. Bring the guy up here. I'd like to thank him personally. He's not waiting for a thank you. He's waiting for $300,000. What? Mr. Hobbs, we've been trying to come up with an idea for a story, but um, we got a nothing. We're idiots. And then this comes along. It's, it's like a gift from God. And God gets mad when you don't accept his gift. Yeah. Fine, I'll write the guy a check. Oh, buddy. Oh. Hi, Dad. Oh. Move over here. Oh, move over here. Need, yep, need... yep. Okay, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Don't touch anything. Okay. Use myself. <laughs> Greenway will understand, right? In fact, he'll be thrilled. There'll be Christmas bonuses for everyone. I mean, it's going to make us millions. Millions? Oh, oh my God. Where's the manuscript? Where is it? I left it right here. It couldn't have just been here. You can't find it? Where? What? It was right here, right? I thought you right I said it's right, right here. here. What the no, no, heck no, no. is that noise? Right you put it Where's right Buddy? <laughs> Slow! 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 <laughs> All right, let's do this. Miley, great to meet you. Walter Hobbs. Can uh, we take care of it before we get started? Great. All right. What do you guys got so far? Go ahead. Okay. So, we were thinking we would open on a young tomato farmer. He's been having rough times down the farm, you know. With no, rabbits. no tomatoes. Too vulnerable. Kids, they're already vulnerable. That's what I told them. I told them the very same thing. I did. No farms. Everybody's pushing a small town rule. Farm book would just be white noise. What about this? A tribe of asparagus children. But they're self-conscious about the way their feet smell. <laughs> I guess all we have is vegetables. All right, I got five or six great starts here. One I'm especially psyched out of my mind about. It's one of those where you all are like, yes! Great, can we hear it? I'll start with the cover. Picture this. Dad, 
Dad! Buddy, not now. <gasps> I didn't know you had elves working here! <laughs> oh boy. You're, you're hilarious, my friend. Uh, he doesn't work here. Uh, can we get back to the story, please? So, on the cover above the title... Does Santa know you left the workshop? No, we're all laughing. Our heads off. Did you have to borrow a ranger to get here? Mr. Sure. Hobbs. Buddy, why don't you just go back to the apartment? Okay? Listen, Jack, I've got houses in L.A., Paris, and Vail. Oh. Each one of them with an 80-inch LED 4K Ultra HD TV. So I suggest you wipe that stupid smile off your face before I come over there and smack it off. Are you feeling strong, my friend? Call me L one more time. She's an angry elf. <laughs> oh, well, look, it's you! <laughs> Come here! Ah! <laughs> Buddy, I can't deal with this anymore. Why don't you just go back to the apartment, get your things, and leave? Where do you want me to go? I don't care. I don't care where you go. I don't care that you're an elf. I don't care that you're my son. Just get out of my life, forever.
for sleepless nights. If you date a guy who has a thing for tights, oh, never fall in love. Never fall in love. Never fall in love. With them. Ah. There is a jingle bell if you are single. Well, don't fall in love with them. Now, but wow, you look more miraculous than ever. And you look seasonally appropriate. Hey, <laughs> you're two and a half hours late. I have a really good explanation. Go ahead. I forgot about our dates. That's your explanation? You forgot? Well, I remembered for a really long time, but then I forgot, which is why I'm late. And oh, is this a tower of the green? With all the lights? Pretty. Yeah. I'm sure some lucky couple had a wonderful evening at our table. No, they didn't. Why not? Because we didn't have a table. I was gonna tell my dad, but... But you forgot. No, I remembered. But then he got mad at me for making snow in his Stop! Office. Just stop! I can't take any more of your crazy stories! Oh, Joey, but it is true. And I'm so sorry I ruined your Christmas dream. Forget about it. I just thought that... If anyone could give me a real Christmas, it would have been you. Jovi, I feel so bad about this. Like, like I swallowed a zillion sticks of juicy fruit. I just don't want to talk about it anymore. Can I at least just give you a Christmas present? This is the worst possible time. Here. That's what New York looks like when it snows. <laughs> Shake it. Pretty cool, huh? The real snowflakes are smaller than the buildings, of course. I keep it. And when you're not furious at me, Look at it. And, uh, I know you're not going to believe this, but, um, Santa gave it to me when I left the North Pole. <laughs> Bye, Joby. Oh, buddy. Oh, I so, so wish that were true. I don't belong in the North Pole either. Nobody wants me. Nobody needs me. Oh, poor thing, wandering the streets in that dorky elf suit. We have to bring him home. We have to bring him back. This is truly amazing. I can barely draw a straight line in one of these things. Oh, buddy, where did you go? Mom? Mom? What? I saw a tiny sleigh make its tiny way right across the Boy. 
He wished and he wished every year for a leg. And then, one Christmas morning, there it was, under the tree, from Santa! A leg? Yes, a leg. A human leg? Yes, because he'd been a very good boy. That's the most disgusting story I've ever heard. <laughs> well, it's incredibly touching to be here at Hungarian. Dad, you're not gonna believe what we just saw! Well, so we have to talk right now. Deb, keep an eye out, Greenway. What? First of all, Buddy is missing. He ran away, he left a note on an etch sketch Michael, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. It's not just Buddy. Me and Bob both are so Please, just give me 10 minutes to make this pitch. Then I'll help you find Bunny. Okay, make it quick. I've got to catch a plane back to Chicago. Christmas party? Hardly. Gotta fire somebody. You remember Mark Yenzer from Acquisitions. He gave some con artists $300,000 for a fake Christmas Christmas story. Now let's hear your pitch, Hobbs. And it better be good. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh... Picture this, under a Christmas tree, a little boy's leg. Hi everybody, I'm so sorry that I- Buddy! Oh my gosh, we were so worried, are you okay? Well, I think I just broke up with my girlfriend. You have a girlfriend? Dad, I know you're super mad at me and I wanna fix that. Hobbs, what is your family doing here? This is a business meeting. Dad, I wanna give you a Christmas present but I don't have any money, so what would you prefer? A thousand butterfly kisses, or a necklace made out of my hair? <laughs> Neither. You want to give me a Christmas present? Give me a story to pitch. Are you telling me, Hobbs, that you don't have a story to pitch? Oh, <laughs> of, of course not. I have a story to pitch. It's about, uh, <coughs> little Paco. A one-legged dad, he says, I have a great Christmas story. Starts on Christmas morning. Page one, fresh out of toys. Santa makes his way back. He makes his way back. When he hears a small noise from inside of his pack. A sound that's not unlike a baby's cry. It's enough to leave the jolly guy perplexed. And, 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 and? Come on, buddy, what comes next? A baby flexes back. It's not a bad start. He's buying it. Keep going. human after all. Right! Good one, Dad! It's, it's the story of Buddy the Elf. It's the story of Buddy the Elf. It's the story of... It's kind of brilliant if I say so myself. It's the story of Buddy the Elf. So, the baby finds out he's happy. Then what? Well, um... Oh, he goes to New York! And, uh... Page. Three. His father's at work when Buddy walks through the door. He walks through the door. His dad is sort of a jerk, and Buddy's there from the floor. His father's not prepared to be a dad to a son he never knew he had. But soon, soon he'll be forced to change his tune. It's the story of Buddy the Elf. It's the story of Buddy the Elf, it's the story of It's kind of brilliant if I say so myself It's the story of Buddy the Elf And maybe Buddy helps his dad In a setting much like this And maybe his father learns a son Is something he can't dismiss They might learn that they need each other 
much more than they know. Maybe the point of the story is it's never too late to grow. It's never too late to grow. It's the story of Buddy the Elf. It's the story of Buddy the Elf. It's the story of and the books will fly right off the shelf. That's the story of Buddy the Elf. Thanks, Mr. Greenway. Thanks a lot. Just one little thing. Instead of an elf, let's make it a horse. Excuse me? I want to make it a horse instead of an elf. So you want our Christmas story to be about a horse who goes from the North Pole? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Michael! You're an idiot. <laughs> what is up with these sons of yours? Oh, come on. Buddy the Christmas horse? Sir... I'm not a horse. I've had enough of this. I don't need to be lectured by kids on how to sell kids' books to kids. You two take your smart remarks and get out of here! Sorry. Sorry. Mr. Greenway, Michael and Buddy are my sons. I'd prefer you didn't insult them. And I prefer that you keep your wife and your whole weirdo family out of the office and do your job. Now you got a good idea here, Hobbs. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to cancel my flight. And we're going to work all through the night and all day tomorrow until we... Tomorrow? Tomorrow's Christmas. You got a problem with that? Yes, Miss Greenway. I quit. What? I quit. You want to spend Christmas on the unemployment line? No. I want to spend Christmas with my family. You're weak, Hobbs. I haven't spent Christmas with my family for 30 years. Uh, Mr. Greenway? What? Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Walter, I've never been more proud of you. Buddy, we saw him. We saw Santa Claus. You did? Yeah, he was flying around his sleigh, and then he landed right in Central Park. Walter, it was the most incredible Why would he do that? Unless, unless the sleigh can't fly. Oh, Santa's afraid this would happen. We have to help him. Come on. Michael, buddy, wait for your dad. Santa! <sighs> Buddy, am I ever glad to see you? The sleigh won't fly. I know. In this whole city, there's not enough Christmas spirit. Eight million people who don't believe in me. A guy can't help but take that personally. There's so much to tell you. <sighs> Buddy, you shouldn't have run off like that. Dad, Mom, Michael, I'd like you to meet my really, 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 really good friend, Santa Claus. That's the guy. That's the guy we saw flying in the sleigh. Santa Claus! Hello, Michael. I got your letter. You did? Sure. It's in my iPad. I used to schlep around this huge book of Christmas wishes. Not anymore. Let's see. No. Angry birds. No. Ah, here we are. Michael Hobbs. All I want for Christmas is a day with my dad. Oh, Mr. Claus, I have to tell you. I'm a huge, huge fan. Or at least I was, and now I am again. I love you. I'm your comp 34 Street. And, uh... <laughs> This is my dad. So, Walter, can I take you off the naughty list or not? You know what? It's been a crazy week. I found out I had another son who was raised by elves. I told off my boss, and I quit my job, so I'm a little disoriented right now. Come on, Dad. Santa's standing right in front of you. All that I'm saying is it doesn't matter if I can't wrap my head around all this. All that matters is... If you believe in Santa Claus, then I believe in Santa Claus. That's good enough for me. You're off the naughty list. Yes! What? The sleigh's driving to left off the ground! It's not enough. Well, that's it. What do you mean? I mean it's over. No more Christmas. Santa! Don't look at me like that. If no one believes in Santa Claus anymore, what can I do? I'm not going to give up. I can get you all the Christmas spirit you need. I just need to buy your iPad. <laughs> Not again. Charlotte Denon, New York One, continuing our live coverage from Central Park. No evidence has yet been found of the UFO that apparently crashed in the park earlier this evening. 
Perhaps what you millions of New York One viewers saw was Santa Claus making his rounds. That's exactly what the people saw! Only uh, the sleigh can't fly because there isn't enough Christmas spirit! It appears that one of Santa's elves has joined us? I have Santa's iPad right here! Um, uh, you ma'am, what's your name? Uh, Darlene Lambert? Okay. Ah, Darlene Lambert. On Christmas 1979, Santa brought you a red bicycle with a bell shaped like this piggy on it. Right? How did you, how did he know that? He got a red. Let's talk about this. And, uh, you man. Emma Van Brooklyn. Okay. Uh, oh, Christmas 1960, a Bobby Rydell lunchbox. I love Bobby Rydell. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, some kind of trick? And you are, ma'am? Charlotte Denon. New York one. Okay. Hmm. Ah, Charlotte Denon, New York one. Got you right here. This year, you want a Tiffany engagement ring and your boyfriend Dwayne to stop dragging his heels and pop the question. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you to say that, my mother? It says right here. Okay, that's it. I don't know how you're doing this, but I'm not an idiot. Everybody knows that there is no Santa Claus. Oh my gosh, I just ruined Christmas. No, you didn't. Nobody can. Oh, I could stand here all night reading names on this thing, and you still wouldn't believe in them, would you? Well, it doesn't matter, because Christmas is a lot more than just about Santa Claus. It's about eating greasy Slovakia with your girlfriend and getting your first kiss under a big, glittery Christmas tree. It's traveling miles and miles to be with your family and going through the Lincoln Tunnel with cars blowing their horns <laughs> and truck drivers yelling things no person should ever say. <laughs> it's hoping that when you wake up on Christmas morning, that all the cars and the big gray office buildings and the piles of garbage will be covered in snow. See? Snow! It's all around you. You can't ruin Christmas. Now, you just have to spread it. And remember, the best way to spread Christmas cheer is by singing loud for all to hear. All right, everybody. Sing! Sing! Anybody? Just sing a Christmas song It's like magic if things go wrong Just spread some Christmas cheer by singing love for all to hear Come on people, get into it! Shelby? You're here? I thought you were mad at me. I was. But then you made it snow. <laughs> Just sing a Christmas song and keep on singing all season long.